from Heritage with today's tech tip. Today I'm going to show you how to operate your Mitsubishi ductless remote control. Now, this remote control operates similar to the remote control for your TV where you use it to be able to turn on and adjust and make changes to your ductless unit. Whenever you make a change on the remote it does need to be in line of sight with the ductless unit and you'll hear a brief chime from the head unit stating that it has received the signal. With your ductless remote, the three buttons that are exposed, this button is the on-off button that will actually turn on and turn off that particular head unit, as well as the down arrow and the up arrow, that is to adjust to make things cooler or make things warmer. If you slide down with two hands, this reveals the rest of the buttons here. First off, to set the clock, as you can see that it's flashing here, Take a pen or a paper clip, simply depress the button that says clock here and you'll notice that the 12 has stopped flashing. You then press the forward or the back button to adjust to the current time. Once you've set it to the current time, simply depress the clock again and now it'll store that time. Now to turn the power on to the unit, you press the large red button. This will illuminate the display. On your display on the left hand bar here, this shows the mode. The middle section is showing fan operation and vanes. Upper right hand corner shows you your set point and the lower right hand corner shows you the time. To change from the different modes, this one here shows the arrows. That's simply a fan only function. To change to the next mode, simply press the mode key and it changes from the arrows to a snowflake. Snowflake is your cooling mode. Press the mode button again. You will see a water droplet. That is the dry mode or dehumidification mode. Press the mode button again. It shows you a picture of the sun and that is your heating mode. I've changed it to cooling mode here. As you can see the snowflake is illuminated here. Now in the center section is your fan control. So the top button here with a fan symbol if you see this symbol here that looks like a little whirlwind, that is an automatic mode. So the unit will ramp up its fan speed and ramp down its fan speed based upon the temperature setting and the conditions inside of the home. To change that to a set fan speed, simply press the fan speed and you'll see here this is the quiet mode. It looks a picture of a person with their hand up to their ear. That is the quiet mode. Press it again. That will bring you to the low fan speed showing by the little small dot here. Press again brings you to medium speed, high speed, super high speed and then pressing it again brings it back to the automatic mode. Right below the fan speed is this vein button. So you can see here again there's a little circular symbol here. Some we see in the middle here, again that's an automatic operation for the veins. However, if you don't want it blowing on you or you want it directed in a particular direction, you do have the ability to press this vein button, which will change this symbol right here, showing pointing straight out. Pressing it multiple times will adjust the position down till it's pointing in a downward direction. And then you'll see the two lines with the arrows that will cause the, the veins to actually cycle back and forth as it's running. If you want to return to automatic operation, simply press the vein button again until you see the circles. Smart set button here, that's if it's in a vacation residence where it can toggle between the equivalent of a vacation mode or your current settings. More information on that is in the manual. These buttons here are for a timer function and then these are to set your time. We do not recommend use of the timer function as the way the system is most efficient is setting it and forgetting it similar to your vehicle with highway mileage being the most efficient just coming on to maintain. Similar is true for your ductless system where you set it and forget it is the most efficient operation. So you can see here it's currently set for 69. If I find that is too cool, 
I can simply press the up arrow to change it to a warmer set point. When it comes time that the low battery indicator is showing on the display, simply continue to pull down. And down here, you will see there's two standard AAA batteries in there. As always, if you have any questions or issues, feel free to contact us here at Heritage. My name is Mike Stewart. Thank you for your time. Thank you.